Hi there and welcome to another tutorial for Final Cut Pro X and in this tutorial we're going to be making a, a this type of effect where we're able to display video inside of our text. So I'll show you how we do this. It's pretty straightforward. We'll drag in our video file and then we're going to add a um, basic title text over the top. Um, I'm going to want to change that text to be uh, bold and we'll jack up our text size and center it up there on the screen. If you hold down command it turns off snapping temporarily. If you let go of command then it will turn the snapping back on and we can snap it to the center. Um, so now we have that done we're going to go and under video the bottom in compositing will find our blend mode and if we select from here stencil alpha you'll see that what it does is it creates a stencil and it will create the sense of our text um, as transparent and it stencils around the outside edge and creates a mask so now our text is inside of uh, sorry our video is now inside of our text it's played behind it now you might not want just a plain black surround, you might want something else around it. So let's say we have another another piece of video here we could drag in um, above. It's quite long enough, we'll go for a uh, longer one with this one here. Yeah, so we'll drag that video in. Now, of course, it's on top, so you're not going to see it, but we'll go down to our blend mode again. And if we choose um, behind, you'll see it places this behind what is below. So now when we play our video, you'll see that we'll actually have our video inside of the title plus our other video around the outside there. So you can see it's a little bit messy. But what we can do maybe to clean that up would be go to our color correction and move the saturation down on this. So we'll have a black and white video with our color video in the middle cut out there as the title. So if we were to view that, So that's a uh, basic, basic introduction there to how um, the different blend modes work um, and how you can use the, the stencil and behind blend modes to create uh, different video effects there with your text and title. So I hope that this short tutorial was of some use to you. Uh, you can go over to my blog and uh, you can find the link in the description of this video below. And you can find on there lots of other tutorials for Final Cut Pro X and Motion 5. If you found this useful, please like it. And uh, don't forget to follow me on my YouTube channel so you can keep up to date with all my latest tutorials. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll try and come up with a tutorial to answer them for you. Thanks for tuning in.